That story is still to come. Gregory Rumo is a man of science and faith who says he became volunteer 001 to test Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine conducted at Palm Beach Research Center. My name is Gregory Rumo. I am a lecturer of chemistry at Palm Beach Atlantic University. I'm 65 years old. I live in Lake Worth, Florida. I moved here three and a half years ago from New Jersey. And I was involved in the Moderna phase three clinical trial of their messenger mRNA vaccine. I had thought I had caught a mild case of COVID back in March. And in May, I was tested for antibodies and it was came up negative. And I was disappointed because I had wanted to volunteer and give convalescent plasma. So the next best thing to be involved to try to put an end to this was to volunteer for a phase three clinical trial. So it was a civic responsibility. And I guess my faith motivated me as well. You know, it's the kind of a thing where people were dying and I wanted to do something. And so that was what I settled on doing. Palm Beach Atlantic University is a Christ first university. And the faculty that teach here uh, have a biblical worldview. And, you know, we believe that we should be willing to volunteer, to come alongside those that, that may not have the ability or whether it's financial or social or otherwise, and, and be helpful in any way we can. Centuries ago, it was the Christians who rushed into the middle of pandemics and basically sacrificed their lives to help those who were sick and were dying. And this is not quite uh, to that level, nor would I even compare myself to some of the frontline healthcare workers that tried to stand down against this pandemic. But um, as a private citizen, this was, this was what I felt was the right thing to do, and it was my faith that did motivate me, I have to say, probably more than my civic responsibility. It's funny, I remember a conversation I had with the president of our university one Sunday morning at church with my wife, and we were talking about it, and she turns to my wife, and she says to her, well, what do you think about it? And my wife just shrugs her shoulders and held her hands up and said, he's just going to go ahead and do it. He's going to do it. He's the scientist. And, you know, for me, it was really never something I was afraid of. Um, I just thought it was the right thing to do. And as a scientist, there was that component to it. I understand a bit about biochemistry and, and how the biochemistry of messenger RNA works to make proteins. So I, I wasn't afraid of the science. And I knew I was going to be in good hands. <laughs> No, I've never, I've never done it before. It's completely uh, out of my comfort zone, I guess you might say. It, it wasn't that I was uncomfortable, but I've never done it before. So uh, I'm not a first adopter. Yeah, I wasn't even a first adopter with an iPhone. I don't think I had an iPhone until 5 was out. I was stuck on BlackBerry. I think of people who volunteer to go off to war to fight something that's evil, that's out to destroy us. And this was like that. I mean, literally, it was a roll up your sleeves moment where I just said, I, I just want to be involved to do something to end this pandemic. I mean, for us, it's just been, hey, life in South Florida, you know, it's sunny every day. It's good. The kids have been healthy. Um, you would hardly know that there's a pandemic going on. So we've been very, very, very fortunate in our experience through this. But other people have not. We've known people that have been very sick. We've known people that have died from this. You know, the dichotomy, I guess, of, of our life and the lives of other people who were really touched by this severely, it just spoke to my heart and said, you have to do this. You have to do something. So it was never a second thought, never a second thought. I never had to worry about it. I was pretty sure I got the vaccine um, because three hours after I got my second shot, I had a small fever, not high, maybe 99.6, which is something that I can feel. And it was just a little achy. I had a headache. I went to bed early that night. And I got up the next morning, felt like somebody had beaten me up a little bit. My shoulders and my neck were stiff. And 24 hours later, the same thing happened. I had a fever, a headache, achy, tired. I went to bed, and that was the end of it. And I figured I'd gotten the real thing and um, until – the first or the second week of November, when I gave a double portion of red blood cells here, they were having a blood drive on campus. And one of the things they threw in along with a free movie card was an antibody test for COVID and it came back negative. So either the antibodies went through me quickly or I got a 
placebo, and I guess that's why they give placebos because there can really be a placebo effect. You can really think that you've you've gotten a drug when in fact you've not. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. So it's a two-year test. It involves a little bit of um, in- involvement. I mean, okay, I've had both injections. I don't have to go back for months. Yeah, it's eleven hundred and ninety dollars. They kind of pay it out to you in dribs and drabs. I think I got my first check a couple of months ago. It was three sixty or three hundred and eighty dollars. But it wasn't for that. You know, I would have done it for free. That's vaccine volunteer Gregory Rumo in Palm Beach County. Now, still to come, how a vaccine maker may connect a father, son, and grandson through the decades.